and all of this and that, and I'm playing Sam and Max Hit the Road. Now I gotta talk to this guy. Or punch him in the face. Punch, punch, yeah. Take that, you mole person. Okay, enough pretend to punch him. I wonder if I left the coffee pot on. Maybe. Shh. Wait, Sam, the furniture just pot? shushed you. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight yeah. crime. Sometimes. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Oh, yeah. What's so. eating? Little boy blue blobs. They've got enough sugar to keep me going for hours. That's amazing. You still have teeth. Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Well, who doesn't know about Why, him? the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. Oh. He's gonna tell us a story. I about first Bala met Mori? Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. Ooh, several years later. Nah, and I'm then saying. there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus. Oh, and ain't that this Shut lucky. up, for God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Wait, Maybe you should talk tough? to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was huh. a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances and... That's great, right, kid. Where can we find that? your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. Boy, the stories you can tell us about that. I think I may weep openly. Look, you nah, two seem trustworthy. Oh, we me. are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if so you bring me some pecan flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. Oh, you greedy little bugger. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Yeah, that's something. Thanks. Not, huh? The God's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Okay. Oh, you dropped some. No, I had to lose a lot. No, wait, that's not how it works. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, Why I've got a great story you should hear. Keep oh boy, it short, story. kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. So then it was yesterday. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Of course. Can't you look, just look at that hand? Every face night there. she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. Oh, come on now, Trixie. He's not five. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. Oh, yeah, six. You seem to think he's six. There's a six candle, right? But she could yeah. never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno is free. Oh, you dropped the cake. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. I don't know. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hmm. Hell of a story, Please. ain't it? I've heard better love stories. But it's better than a love story than the d time between day and night. There. That should get things running again. Hmm. So. Enough of a ton of love and a love story and all that nonsense. Offwards to... Yeah, Trixie Trailer, which is this way. In fact, before we go... No, nah, no. Nah, after Trixie Trailer. Oh, of course, I already got the key select. Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. Yeah, he's gonna look really cool in a second. Well, yeah. this is undignified. Smooth. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, okay, so, um... I can't pick that up. I can't even use it. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. He said about moving his lips. Maybe he thought it. 
this? It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. Excellent. So, unless I'm forgetting something important, I think we're done here. Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. I don't think we should risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. So that That's a disquietingly helpful. tall bed. How can you say disquietingly with a straight face, Sam? Um, because facial animation isn't that advanced yet? Okay. You. Punch him in the face. Nah. Okay, yeah, gotta stop pretending to punch people in the face. I might seem insane. Hey, tattoo boy! What? Not good insane either. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. Yep, I'm we not wish supposed to, to suicide what in, the heck? Yeah, in style. You two look like a couple of caring, non litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. Oh, this should be pretty fine, right? I'm not supposed to have a carnival ride. Ooh, help stuff. This one I need to see when I'm going to be spinning around at high speed. Safe. You know you guys wish you could ride the cone of tragedy. Oh, Sam is dead! Oh, no, never mind. Sam's not dead now. Yes. That fly is just hanging around. Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Let's hey, do it again. Maybe later, chum. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? Hmm. I could just about see letters back there. And 88. Hmm. Nah, that probably means nothing. Okay, so, you. Hey, Carney boy. What? Do you guys all go to the same tattoo parlor or what? This is Actually, important. these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. Oh, okay. Seems legit. Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Here's a fun fact. Because of years of playing Sierra games, yeah, before eventually playing this, my first ever um, LucasArts game, yeah, um, when I went into the Kona tragedy, yeah, I saw, I thought at that point that I had lost um, all my items forever and hit a dead end. Then I talked to that guy and realized this Holy is cripes on toast! Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. Have you oh, lost something? Human. I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up for your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Right here, while I search through the back room. It's lost. Well, here's all the time stuff Lord. we've collected off the cold old tragedy today. It's all hmm. yours. That thing in the background I looks feel like a whole big again. microphone. See, just look at that. Looks like a big old microphone. All right, now I got my crap, my stuff back. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says "World of Fish" on its side. I wonder how that got in there. Eh, you looted it. Okay, come on, off. And now we're off to that gator place for a quick visit, really. <laughs> But just a quick one. I'll be back here properly later. And in fact, I'll talk to that guy over there later. For now, but for now, he can get punched in the face. So, no. Alright, now that I'm, I've finished interrogating this guy, I think, we may go on to... 
Okay, I got the thing and oh yeah, I need to get get the hand out the jar. Yeah. Now I'll be grabbing one of these. Oh, a dress up game. How? I guess it's I got it now. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish? I'd have yeah. to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? You look like, like a completely different person than the other guy I saw. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Yeah, here. what's he look like? Will that be all you know, for you today? Uh, That'll be all. Sort of guy that Anything asks else? For stuff and runs off with it. Hey, can pay? you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. You wanna see? Come on. There we go. Anything else I can do for you? Yeah, the Nothing. termites are back. You have no idea how often I hear that. I think I got some idea. You unhelpful person, you. Are those grenades. Hmm. Alright, so, um, yeah. A big ball of twine to demonstrate why I needed this random crap. Okay, first I use this crabby thing on the hand. Use hand on magnet. Voila. All right. Now to approach the largest ball of twine in the world. On. All right. Now we're to stick this here into the. Hey, look! Stuff like some guy got impaled while making this. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. Nah, I'm sure that was possible. All right. Now to take this cable card up there, so I got a wrench. There's a reason they need a wrench. And you always have to wait and find out what that is if you don't know. I know you know, Remelay. I know you're watching. Alright, so... Uh, Shake a leg, yeah, Max. Um, um, interpret that however you will, really. And now they've gone from sprites to some kind of CG thing. Well, not really proper CG, but whatever. Hey, look! Hey, look! String! Uh, blue twine! I'm a ball of twine! Hmm. That guy's enthusiastic about his job. That's one long loose end! Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. How is that true? Uh, however, but that's true, I'm trying to say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do not attempt the following at home. For very obvious reasons. See, like that. Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous really? thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Uh, maybe not. Well, you have a way of changing people's opinions, don't you? I can't talk. Yeah, you can't talk now. You've got a job to do. Okay, I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. Yeah, now we can deal with that later. <laughs> yeah, alright, so... Can I punch this guy? Yep, punch this to you too. Punch it to all the faces. Did too. Did not. Would you two shut your traps? I'm trying to f concentrate. Oh my. Let's talk to this guy some more. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f diner. Of well, course. that makes sense. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Yeah, and this is supposed to be a family-friendly channel with mostly, well, oh, in the language department, I mean, um, you know, violence and stuff are perfectly fine. 
Percent sign, Amer sand, dollar sign. Maybe. And colon, Same. semicolon, too. What are you ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Of course. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the is Bruno the Bigfoot? Sam, he he's speaking in tongues. So he don't know about Bruno? What are these malformed tools good for? Lots, Lots of things. things. Oh, like right. scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like My a free sample? Sure. Just let me finish this one. <laughs> All done. How Thanks. Many is one guy out? How many well, variations bye. does he need? I've got to use this elevator. I can't pick that up. Yeah, obviously. So yeah, the one thing he has to walk in, not use it, so just walking in it. And I kind of thought you'd tend to use lifts by like walking in them, especially the automatic kind like that. I mean, sure there are buttons you could use, but like I said, that one seems kind of automatic. It probably just had one button if it has buttons on it, which is the move button. Alright. Um. Got that. Oh, yeah. Now I remember what I was doing. My plan. Pick up this here bucket. It'll be your bucket list. I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. Uh, pun didn't quite work out all that well. Um, take the bucket and put it on your list? No. Be sure not to kick it. Oh, hey look, a tiny helicopter. Come here to steal the fishies. Yes. Okay, bye bye fishies. Seriously, compare the bag of fish, fish to that um, helicopter. It's not a very big helicopter. Weird. Nah, it's lazy, probably. Um, right, let's talk to this guy. Punch him? No, you can't be punched. Man must be a badass in training. Something fishy's I'm going on here. Ass. Congratulations. You're the 200th person today who said that. Yeah, son had to make that joke. So, how are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. I'm sure you could afford that in a fisherman's wage. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? That's because I'm question. more allergic to poverty. Alright, so Fisherman is allergic to fish. Only in Sam and Max. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. <laughs> okay. I don't don't move. But I found it funny anyway, so who cares? I can't talk. Stop trying to talk to everything. I don't know if we needed that bent it to do that. Bent it? That did the trick. Alright, now get in there. I can't pick that up. Not in there. Okay, see? It's kind of wobbly in here. If a big guy like Sam can fit in there, surely Max can fit hey in Max, there. Hey Max, come here. Geronimo! Oh, he's the 11th Doctor. Very well. And... Just in case they didn't know what they were doing. One must admire the skill with which the wily Uber Trout stalks its prey. The Uber Trout This is one of the ten jobs. most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Sorry about that. that Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. Limitation. Holy trout. I always thought you were made of plaster. Well, at least he can recognize where that was. I mean, fool! You dare doubt the Uber Trout? 
put your back into it, wimp. Oh, okay. Fisherman is dead. Now what do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Real classy, Max. Is that classy? Yeah, there you go. Real classy, Max. Oh, the tiny helicopter's back. To steal the giant fish. Yes. How many nets are there? See? Net right underneath it, ready for the take in. Still said it's a tiny helicopter. Powerful, but tiny. So, how much fuel does this thing have anyway? Hmm. Whatever. Wait a minute. Is there like a massive distance between there and here? Oh well. How the hell can Max pass time for that? You're gonna need much bigger knife. Or something for that effect. I told you I had a plan. Of course you did. Did you? Now look, he's our Max. Nah, no, no, okay. So, um, since we obviously need a pair of scissors and don't have a pair, we'll just use Max instead. Hey Max, I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. Yeah. I guess this is one thing that's helped other games don't have. You can't use Max's tool. See? That wasn't so bad. Yeah, what are back. you two doing out here? Uh -oh. Any more bright ideas? I've Let's had start crying like babies. Oh, well, that's one way down. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. And thanks to Sam and hey, Max, I now know we get our car busy. back. Wait for it. I'm sure the suspension can handle that. So, museum guy, let's, let me ask you about the. Hang on. Does this mean what I mean, think it means? Yep. Punches to him his face too. I get enough punches to everyone's faces. Let me guess, your suit is entirely made of twine. Actually, I'm the yeah, person of this here museum. Now, what can I do for you? Um, well... This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. Good thing we only took 91 yards. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh -huh. He said, wood things come in jars. Oh. Very well, then. How'd you get this job, anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Oh, okay. That seemed like a good use of your time. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Well, they've got one of these, too, but half of it's French. Really? Well, of course they would. That'll be all for now. Wait, real French or Canadian French? Ah, oh, whatever, that doesn't matter. Um... But, oh, look at the time. I'll end here. So, till next time, goodbye.